The Myers-Briggs framework is a popular framework that some people use to characterize personality. Let's take a look. Many people know of this framework through a widely used questionnaire called the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator or MBTI. More than 2 million people worldwide take the self-assessment inventory every year. It's based on Carl Jung's work in psychological types. Psychologist Carl Jung was a contemporary of Sigmund Freud and leading exponent of the Gestalt personality theory. The MBTI was first developed by Isabel Briggs Myers and her mother Caroline Cooks Briggs to help people better understand themselves and to understand each other so that they could find work that matches their personality. They put Jung's concepts into everyday language. Isabel Myers' 1980 book, Gifts Differing, and her philosophy of celebrating individual differences encouraged the workplace diversity movement. The MBTI uses four scales with opposite poles to assess four sets of preferences. The four scales include the following. The first is extroversion and introversion. Extroverts are energized by things and people. They are interactors and on-the-fly thinkers whose motto is ready, fire, aim. Introverts find energy in ideas, concepts, and abstractions. They can be social, but also need quiet time to recharge their batteries. They are reflective thinkers whose motto is ready, aim, aim. Sensing and intuition is the next continuum. Sensing people are more detail-oriented. They want to trust the facts. Intuitive people seek out patterns and relationships among the facts that they've learned. They trust their intuition and look at the big picture. The next continuum is the thinking-feeling continuum. Thinkers value fairness and decide things impartially based on objective criteria and logic. Feelers value harmony and focus on human values and needs as they make decisions or judgments. The fourth and final continuum is the judging-perceiving continuum. Judging people are decisive and tend to plan. They focus on completing tasks, take action quickly, and want to know the essentials. They develop plans and follow them, adhering to deadlines. Perceptive people are adaptable, spontaneous, and curious. They start many tasks and often find it difficult to complete them. Deadlines are meant to be stretched. The possible combinations of these preferences result in 16 personality types, which are identified by the four letters that represents one's tendencies on all the four scales. Although the framework and the Myers-Briggs instrument were not developed or intended to be used to identify personality traits and label people, too often this is done with the results. This is problematic as it can lead to discrimination in poor career counseling. Employers should not hire, fire, or assign employees on personality types because the MBTI is not a reliable source of identifying a person's type. When retested, even after intervals as short as five weeks, as many as 50% of people are classified into a different type. There is little support for the claim that the MBTI can justify job discrimination or be a reliable aid to someone seeking career advice. The MBTI has become so popular that it's likely that everyone will encounter it during their career. It can be a fun team-building tool for illustrating some of the ways that people differ, but it should not be used for making organizational decisions, including hiring and promotions.